when you arrived, you said, um, if you love football, you love Benfica. <laughs> you have already won the, the, the supporters over, but would you like to elaborate? Yeah, it was a question at the airport and was uh, come from, from inside and yeah, what I what I meant was um, yeah, we all love football and there are some clubs um, in football with a long history, with a long tradition, with amazing players and clubs who won a lot of prizes and um, so for me, um, I'm German, I'm far away from uh, from Portugal, but nevertheless for me Benfica is one of these clubs and that's why I say that. Schmidt, João Miguel Nunes, RTP. Uh, of course, uh, you want some players, some new players in your team. I want to ask you about uh, Ricardo Horta. Is a player that you want? Is your top priority? Yeah, I think it is uh, clear that uh, Ricardo Horta is a very good player, also for Benfica. So I'm not sure if we are able to to get him, but um, I think he could be a really a uh, good improvement uh, for, for our squad. So we will see what happens in the next weeks. But I think he's a very good player. Hello, coach. Miguel Hello. Miava, Sport TV. Um, from what we have seen from your players and the information you have, do you think you have the right pieces to play the way you want to play, that use the football fans to watch your teams <laughs> play? Thank you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm I'm very excited now for for the upcoming weeks. So um, of course I know all the players in our in our current uh, squad, but um, to see them on on video or to have them in training, and especially also we have some players who come uh, back from from loan, and also some uh, very young players. So I'm very excited right now to to see them in training today. We trained the first time, and um, I, I had a really I have a really good impression of the players of their attitude and. So I'm, I'm looking forward to get more information, but I'm, I'm sure that we have a lot of quality uh, in our team, in our sc uh, current squad, uh, a good mentality. And um, I think when we work hard the next weeks in the preseason pre is always a very important uh, time because after the preseason you have not so much time anymore because you have to play and um, you have to play a lot of matches. So I, I'm sure, um, yeah, we can play like we want to play so of course I, I have an idea of it but I also I'm also open for adjustments uh, depending on the quality uh, the weapons of the of the players so I'm convinced we have a good squad hello coach Hi. Pedro Oca, CNN Portugal and TVI. Uh, I want to know if you can clarify us about Enzo Fernandes do you want the player right now or are you ready to wait for the player until January for example yeah first of all we are very happy that he joined uh, joins Benfica so he's a very talented uh, young player. He showed up in in, um, in River Plate, and um, yeah, the best would be if he comes as early as possible. But we have to we have to wait for the upcoming matches. Um, but yeah, we are happy that he is there, and one day he will be here, uh, part of Benfica, and we are looking forward to it. Hello, Nuno Reis for Portuguese newspaper Bola. Uh, did you talk with Mario Gotz before and after his decision? Yeah, you know, Mario um, was my player for two years, so I brought him to uh, to um, Eindhoven. Of, of course, he could could have been also a good player for for um, Benfica, but um, the cl decision of Mario was very clear. He wants to stay in Germany. He wants to make a decision also for his family. So there was that was his decision. We respect the decision, and that's why um, this topic is closed. What's your opinion about Sporting Porto and the Portuguese uh, referees? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to get to know the referees. That is always a special, um, spe special position in, in football. Yeah, we will see. I think they will make their, their decisions. Um, I heard a little bit about it, but um, I always try to, to get my own impression. Um, yes, yeah, Sporting Porto is clear. So uh, Porto, they they got a lot of points last season. Though they deserve to become champion. Um, sporting was was second, but you know that's the past. So um, in football, you always have to look forward. Um, and now is a new season, a new chance for us to um, yeah, to to work hard and then to be ready to to fight for prizes. 
Hello, uh, Roger Gonçalves Giestas. We are live for the Seek Notícias. My question is uh, about uh, the next season, of course, uh, of uh, Benfica. And if you think that uh, your team uh, starts behind Porto and Sporting the, for, the, for the title. Behind? Like I said before, so for me, um, it's the past. Of course, last year they were better, so they, they um, achieved more points. But um, yeah, we, everybody starts on zero again. So I think for them it's also the new, new challenge. Um, we want to improve our performance. Um, we want to play, play different uh, football. And of course, we want to be um, more stable in our performances and also in, in getting points. So yeah, at the moment we are very focused uh, on preparing us for the for the season, but of course we want to play a different role next season. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Roger Schmidt. One of your assistant coaches is uh, Javi Garcia, a former uh, Benfica uh, player. Uh, who chose uh, Javi Garcia for this job and what uh, can he bring to the team? Yeah, I think uh, for us it was very important that, of course, I have some, some um, people who came with me, so, so my assistant, um, but I think it's very important that we connect the, my, my assistant, uh, my assistants, the German assistants together with the Portuguese assistants and we all together, we have to prepare and support the players. Um, and I think um, Javi Garcia, it was a suggestion of the club and um, so I got to, got to know him a few weeks ago and he's a, he was a, was a great player, but he's also a very good, a very good person. He's very motivated to start his career now as a coach, and uh, my my first impression was was top. So I'm I'm very happy that he joined uh, the the coaching team. I think with his experience also in Portuguese football, he's very worthy for us. So because when you when you are becoming coach of a of a new country, there are always some some topics, some details you you cannot know. Uh, but if you have uh, people around you who who knows exactly um, what is important in in the league. So then um, that's why Javi is with us and um, I'm looking forward to work with him. So that's, um, that's it. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. Roger Smith. Welcome to Portugal. Uh, José Thank Barata you. Renascença. Uh, Benfica wasn't a uh, champion in the last years. Uh, you feel must pressure to win uh, with Benfica now? <laughs> yeah, if we would have won. Uh, last three years so maybe that was there would be pressure as well so i think um like i said for me that doesn't matter for me i'm, I'm the the responsible people of benfica especially uh, our president and also um, our sports director new sports director they believe in me as to be a good coach for for benfica lissabon so the pressure is now for me to show them that i'm that they were right that uh, that they make a um, that I made a good choice, so that's what. But that's my ambition. Um, and if you join the top club in the league, there's always some pressure to win prizes. So that's that's always uh, always the same. So I know that also from um, from before the clubs I worked before. So um, the pressure is not important. I think we have to see our big big motivation to um, to make the the people who loves Benfica. We have to make them happy and proud of the team. So we have to. We have to be a fighting team, a winning team, and a team who is able to, to win prizes. So that's in my, um, that's my head, and I, I don't feel the pressure. Hi, Roger, Rita Pedroso Record. I would like to know um, your opinion about the only German player on the squad, Weigel, and uh, if you think that the player fits in your system, in your ideas. Thank you. Yeah, I think Julian is a very, uh, very experienced player. He already showed in Germany that he's, uh, is a, he can be a top player. Um, at the end, you know, uh, like I said before, so I, I knew him from the Bundesliga when I was coaching Bayer Leverkusen. Um, now I have him in training and I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to get more information. And at, at the end, it's also a decision of the player um, if, if he stays or not. So I'm open at the moment to, to, to be focused on, on training, on the daily work. Uh, Julian is a, is a good player. He's also a good person. So we will see what happens in the future. Um, good afternoon, Miguel Fernandes from TSF uh, Radio. Um, you have a squad with almost 30 players. Um, seven more are come to, to train with uh, the squad, the international players, um, new players probably in the transfer market. So what I'm 
asking you it's your number to have the squad to the, the season and if it's urgent to make some choices. Not urgent. I think, um, yeah, you are right. You cannot, you cannot have a squad with 40 players uh, in, in daily training to prepare you, uh, yourself or the team for the four matches. But I think the preseason is also there to, to try a few players out, to give especially also our young players the chance to train with the first team. I think we have to see day by day um, what are the, the best decisions for the players, what are the decisions from the, from the player uh, themselves. And then um, at the end of the preseason, I think we need a, a squad um, with, uh, with um, whom we can focus on, on each match and we, have, we can go into the season. But that in football business uh, today, the, the squads at the beginning of the preseason are a little bit bigger than normal. That's, I'm used to that, so it's not the first time. At the moment, we have 25 players, so it, it's, it's nice to play. It's a good group to, to work with. So we had a good training, and then when the national team players come back um, in one week, uh, then we have another situation. But uh, for now, it is fine, and then next week we will make uh, some adjustments. Good afternoon, Francisca Duque from Befica Play. First of all, welcome. Thank you. The last time you were in this room was last year, on August 18th, due to a post-conference, uh, post-game. Have you crossed your mind? Uh, at that time, Benfica was half capacity due to COVID-19. Have it crossed your mind what it will be like to have 65,000 fans on your side? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I think that time it was maybe I don't know 10,000 people in the stadium. Yeah, but of course I'm I'm looking forward to um, to um, see the full uh, stadium to have um, also the crowd behind us. I think it's part of Benfica that the supporters are very enthusiastic and uh, we need the supporters um, to to um, yeah to perform on our best level. It can be a very good. Uh, top motivation for the uh, for the players and we all together we can I think we are able to to achieve something and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it and we will have a first uh, um, first example um, hopefully next uh, Sunday so we want to invite the, the fans the supporters uh, for next Sunday into our stadium we want to make an open training uh, for them I hope a lot of uh, supporters uh, will come so we want to um, connect the supporters with the team, with the players, and um, yeah, next Sunday is a good opportunity to start with that.